Hi guys, welcome back, long time no see. Uh, today I am bringing you a video on different ways you can apply your liquid foundation. It's a very common question that I get uh, from clients and friends and family. So, not only am I going to show you how to apply foundation with your fingers and with a sponge, I'm also going to show you how to apply it with these six types of foundation brushes. I am using Max Liquid Foundation in NC35. I'm using the same amount of product for every tool. Um, and I'm not using any primer or concealer underneath the foundation because I wanted you to see the type of coverage and the end result you get by using each one of these tools. So, um, that's it. Here is the video. Alright, so the first way I'm going to show you how to apply foundation is with your finger. So, um, anyway, I'm just going to take my foundation, I'm gonna do a little pump for my right finger, and I'm going to kind of dab this all over the cheek. What's nice about using your fingers is that the warmth of your fingers really kind of helps to break down the makeup and helps it to melt quicker into the skin. So now I'm just going to rub it in. The other good thing about using your fingers is that you waste little to no product. The only um, foundation you really lose is whatever um, is pressed into your fingerprints. Everything else will go and stay right onto the face. Okay. All right, now the trick with doing your makeup with a sponge is you want to dampen it a little bit. Um, you don't want it to be soaking wet, otherwise you'll drip water into the face and that just kind of defeats the purpose of trying to put makeup on. Um, but you want it just damp enough so that it doesn't absorb too much of your foundation. So I'm just going to take a little squirt bottle and I'm just going to spray onto the tip of the sponge that I'm going to be using and I'm just using my finger to make sure that it's absorbed in there. Okay, so now I have a damp sponge. I'm going to take my product, I'm going to put a little pump on there, and excuse me while I answer my cell phone. <laughs> so anyway, um, I've got my pump of product on my sponge, and now I'm going to take my dampened sponge, and we're going to dab this onto the face. And then kind of work it in. Alright, so with the dampened sponge, as you can see, this was with my fingers, this was with my sponge. More natural, finished look um, than with my fingers. My fingers actually gave me more coverage, and that's because I'm not losing product in my fingers. Whereas in the sponge, it's kind of mixing, you can see it's discolored a little bit. Um, it's mixing with a little bit of the water, and as you press it on, it's the foundation is mixing with the water, therefore diluting it just a slight bit, giving a more natural finish to the face. Um, you could do another layer of this to get a more fuller effect, um, but this is just with the one little pump like I did with the fingers. Now I'm going to use um, a traditional foundation brush. This is from Lancome. Um, it's just your typical nylon bristled dome shape thin foundation brush. I'm going to take my brush. I'm just going to start moving the product. And there you go. Okay, now I'm going to be using the Sephora foundation brush. It's still that same dome shape, it's just a little fuller than the Lancome one I just used. Add my brush into the product and then onto the face. Okay. 
What's great about the fluffier version of this brush is that you can go in circles and really buff the product in. Whereas with the traditional brush I just showed you from Lancome, um, you can really only swipe it through. You can't really get in there and buff it in. So again, traditional foundation brush on the side. Fluffier version from Sephora for the side. Next brush I'm going to use is the, again this is from Sephora, this is technically called their airbrush brush, number 55. This is a really nice brush for doing foundation. Um, I found this, I think it was like a year or two ago, um, and I really fell in love with it because it gave such a really soft finish to my foundation. Big brush, lightly dip it in there. So it's a little bit on there. And just start dabbing. And you just start circular motions all over. But because this brush is so big and covers so much surface area at one time, it really helps to get the foundation on quickly. See how quick and smooth that was? That's why I really like this brush. Really nice soft finish. Again, airbrush brush number 55 from Sephora. Okay, we can all thank MAC for making this foundation brush, brush uber popular. The 187. Uh, this was part of their Christmas package. So that's why it's smaller and gold instead of the traditional. But... Um, it's this big, full, dual fiber brush head. This brush is good for um, moving heavier foundations around on the face. I find that lighter foundations, when I mean lighter, I mean by um, less coverage, so, you know, natural to maybe moderate coverage. This brush kind of is a little too much. It's a little much for moving that type of a product, but for full coverage foundations and um, more towards the creamy foundations, this brush is excellent for. So, brush and stipple. And again, because this brush head is so large, you cover a lot of the face a lot quicker. It is harder to swoop it, see it's kind of pushing it around on my hand. But, the finish is still really nice. Now this brush is not as soft as the airbrush from Sephora. The type of bristles are different. It still gives a nice finish. It's still a natural, more of a natural finish than with the airbrush side. So, something to keep in mind. Moving on! The next brush I'm going to be using is from MAC. It's the 109, I believe. My number's kind of ripping off. I'm pretty sure it's the 109. It's just a small, rounded um, brush used for blush, used for contouring. I really like to use it for liquid foundation. And it's because of the way it's shaped and how full and fluffy it is, I can really get in there and buff the product in. Um, so this is one of my favorite brushes to use. Okay. There's my little pump. Dab in the brush. Okay, and then I use little circle motions to really get that into my skin. Uh, this is my finish with the 109 brush from MAC. And I really like how um, I maintain some good coverage, and but it's still really natural. It's not too much. Again, if I wanted fuller coverage, I could do another layer. Um, this brush does really good at not absorbing a whole lot of the product, really kind of keeping it into the skin. So, one of my favorites. 109. Alright, so the very last way you can apply your liquid foundation um, is with this next brush. It is brand spanking new. I've only used it a couple of times, but I can tell you that I'm in love 
with it. It really gives you a good full coverage look with your foundation. The very last brush I'm going to show you is the foundation brush by Shiseido. Many of you might not be a whole lot familiar with Shiseido. Um, they are a Japanese brand and if you go to Macy's, Macy's usually has a Shiseido counter. Their skincare products are like amazing. Amazing skincare products. They do carry a few cosmetic products as well as a few brushes and their brushes are amazing. This one just came out not that long ago. It's about $33 I think. It, so it's got a slight slant. It's very dense synthetic bristles um, and I will show you how to use this. Um, you're going to kind of dab that like this. Then you're going to dab it onto the skin. So wherever you want fuller coverage is where you'll concentrate more of the product and dab the rest of this kind of around. And it's really important to really, really dab this into the skin first. And you can already see this brush doing its magic. Now you're going to take it and in small strokes you're going to brush it in. Really pressing into the skin with this brush. And there you go. This is using the brand new Shiseido foundation brush. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Um, and you can see from the bristles, there's not a whole lot of product there. I mean, you know, there's a little bit of remnants, but I mean, it's still, you can still run your finger through it and there's not a lot of product that's stuck in there. So that's a plus, plus, plus thing to not be wasting product by losing it in your brush. The side was used with this brush, and then my left side was used with the Shiseido foundation brush. So, um, there you go. Alright guys, well I hope that this video helped uh, maybe answer some of your questions about applying liquid foundation. And um, just to kind of recap, we used a dampened sponge, fingers. I used a traditional foundation brush. This is from Lancome. You can get it at their counter. Here is one from Sephora. It's, a, it's like the same shape as the traditional, it's just a little fuller. You can get this at Sephora. Here is the Sephora Airbrush Brush number 55. Nice and full. Really like this guy. Again, you can get that from Sephora. Um, I did use the MAC 109. This is used for blush and contouring and tons of other things. I love using this for foundation. Then there's the good old trusty 187 from MAC, the dual fiber foundation brush. Lots of other companies are making this brush now, but this specific one you can get from MAC. And then my new love is the Shiseido foundation brush. You can get this at any Shiseido counter. Um, usually Macy's has Shiseido within the department. So that is it. And again, I hope it helped. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.